give a rotation in here. So I'm going to go to while my camera is selected, hierarchy menu, effect pivot only. And I'm just going to move the pivot in my front viewport. I'm just going to move it up a little bit away from the camera. Like that. That should work. And then turn that off. This way, if I rotate the camera, I'm going to turn my... Um, I should just leave it on. I'm going to turn one of one of these. I'll turn this one off since it has more particles in it. Uh, actually, what I could do is display. Maybe we'll just turn these down just a little bit. Just to make it quicker. I just want some particles visible in the viewport. I'm just turning it on the display. I'm just changing it to 10 just so it shows just a little particles in there. And we'll minimize that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is click this rotation tool and if I in my front viewport if I click this one here or you can just right click and do it this way it's gonna rotate it see now it's gonna rotate it it's like hanging on a uh, on a little string or whatever you want to call it because I move my pivot point up here it's not just rotating the camera, it's actually rotating the pivot point and the camera's like swinging on it now because I moved it away from the camera. So, see it's just, it's swinging. And that's kind of, that's what I wanted to do. Just it's swinging along on the, on the pivot thing. Alright, and you can move the pivot away farther if you want a more, a bigger effect. But, um, you know, I'm not going to do the effect at all. I just wanted to get make sure my pivot was in a good spot. You can animate it right now from there. Just to hit your auto key and start animating the rotation. And do it that way. I'm just going to go up a little bit more. Just to get a little bit bigger effect on that. Alright, now. What I want to do is go to. I'm going to go to my motion menu. While I have my camera selected. Go to rotation. And on my Y rotation. I'm going to click this assign controller. And I'm going to use a noise float. Turn fractal noise off. I'll probably set this to like 50 to start. And change my frequency and put it down to maybe 0 0.002. Yeah, 0 0.002 see how that goes right click in here and then we just play play through the menu and we can tweak this as it's playing through you know you can see it's it's doing it it's not doing it enough so I'm gonna go with a little bit more that's too much See now it's basically just it's using a noise controller to animate the rotation of the camera back and forth while it while it glides across our two keyframes that we made. Just trying to get something that looks something like a flight path. I mean, just rather than go ahead and do all the manual animations of the uh, rotation, that's fine. We'll just leave it like that. All right. So now. We should be able to go ahead and quickly, uh, we'll turn our particles back up to 100%. And do a quick animation of that. Preview, I mean, make preview. And uh, I'm going to go with the full 400 on this one. So we got our rotation involved, and I'll be back. All right, so there's the animation now. It's I don't know if you see it smooth or not, but I can tell it's, you know, it's working out good probably just leave it like that it's probably running a uh, static key stuttery in the cam program but you know it's got this a side motion all right so that that's gonna work all right now pretty much all we got to do now is just render it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna render the clouds and the sky separately so I'm just gonna go to um, render 
render setup. All right. And we're going to, what we'll do is first, we'll go to our clouds here. We'll render the sky first. We'll turn off render under particle, under particle source. So it's not going to render the clouds right now. We'll choose active time segment. And make sure your size is set where you want it to be set to. And I'm going to go to file. And we'll just go ahead and create a whole new thing, a new folder, just to show you. Put it wherever you want to put it. Just create a new folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a another new folder. We'll call this one Sky. And we'll just go ahead and create, while we're at it, another new folder. And put that one Clouds. All right. So we got sky and clouds. This one's going to be sky, so we're going to go inside the sky folder. Click sky.tga. Click save. Just click OK. All right, so now this is just going to be a sky render. So make sure everything's ready to go. And just click render. And it's just going to quickly do the sky. That won't that only take a couple minutes to do the sky. See this way when we bring it into After Effects, we can if we feel like we need want to tweak the colors of the sky, we don't like the end result, we can tweak the colors of the sky inside After Effects separately than the clouds. You know, if we do it all together, then you're kind of stuck with the. I mean, you can still tweak the colors, but then this, if you try to tweak just the sky, then the clouds are going to change too. So we get we can do a lot more um, by a lot more tweaks to it by doing this separately. So we'll, I'll just come back when this is done. All right, so our sky is rendered. Now we're going to click on the sphere and then right click and uh, stupid cam program's messing that up. So I'm just going to go to edit, go to object properties for the sphere and we're going to turn off renderable and then go back to our particle source and turn on render for our particles. So now it's going to render the particles. Now we got to go to also under render setup, go to file, go back and go to um, clouds and change the name, of course, to clouds. Click save. Now it's going to render just to clouds in that viewport. So I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so now we're at the easier part um, in After Effects. Now it's just basic stuff. Um, me, I'm going to import my stuff. New folder. Go to sky. Click on my first one. Targa sequence. Checked. Click open. And we'll set it to pre-multiplied. And do the same for the other one. File. Go back to the clouds. Just get those in there. Make sure Targa sequence is set. Multiply, click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and add the sky and then add the clouds. The sky goes in the back, clouds in the front, of course. So now we have that part set. Now, what I normally do to make it look even better, remember this is half resolution, I'm going to duplicate this one here. So I'm going to go to duplicate that layer and we're going to set it to transform. We're going to set it flip horizontal. Then we're going to do it again and flip vertical. Okay, so that puts them on top. But we're also going to set this to pin light. Okay, so it doesn't show all the clouds up there. See, so, and you know, it looks, you know, you get that wispy the clouds kind of forming in the middle there as you're flying through. That's all you really want to see. You just want to see that, just those clouds coming. Now, of course, we're going to adjust them a little bit. Just this la layer. I'm going to click T for to bring out opacity. I'm going to tweak that down a little bit because we don't want to see that them a lot. We also want to go to effects. We're going to add an effect levels to that one. Effect color correction levels. 